everybody, welcome to this week's plan with me. I'm using a kit from Your World of Colour. Um, if you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my videos. Um, if you're already subscribed, then thank you. Let's get on. This is the kit I'm going to be using. It is the rainbow kit from Your World of Colour. This is the double box. Your deco boxes and flags, half boxes, sidebar and some functional, bottom washi and washi strips and because I had no glitters with this kit I'm using this glitter kit from Planner Face because um, this is going to be an all your world of colour spread I've got my your world of colour functional stickers if anybody's wondering the pen I use is this pen from the Punk Planner it also writes on Grossi clips I'm going to be using is this one from Little Miss Daisy Rose I have a bow clip from my Unicorn Planner and I also have a birthday unicorn from my unicorn planner as well. Right, I apologise now if you can hear any background noise. It's decided to be look nice and warm so I've got the window open. So if you hear neighbours or any shouting, it's people outside. Um, as you can see, I was going to use a different kit for this week but I changed my mind um, I'm just going to lay my bottom washi glitters sidebar and date covers um, if you didn't already know your world of colour has reformatted her kits you can now um, order an add-on double box and she does date covers on there now that matches the kits so and she's put a load of new kits in the shop there's some amazing kits in there now um, you can even get your monthly kits as well there's some new ones of those in the shop and you can have any month put on the kit and you can have a Sunday or a Monday start if you do have a recollections planner like me I'm sure if you write in the comments to the seller she will change the layout to fit recollections for you uh, there's a few new functional items in the shop as well so if you want to purchase anything um, go ahead the link is in the description box as well as a discount code so I'm just going to lay all these down. I don't think there's anything else I need to mention. This is just the week of my both daughters' birthdays. So I thought I'd use this kit from Your World of Colour. Because it's unicorn and rainbows. So I thought it'd fit just right. I don't think I have too much else going on this week. I tried not to give myself too many things to do because of obviously being busy at the end of the week as it's Leah's birthday on the Friday and Kira's on the Saturday. Um, I do need to go pick up Leah's birthday presents but I think apart from that I just need to film the following week's plan with me and a Poundland haul and a few bits to tidy around the house but other than that I don't think I have much going on this week so I think um, I will leave it here and um, put some background on this and I will speak to you when I place my functional I was going to edit this but I've had a few more questions from Carly who runs Your World of Colour so I thought I'd answer them in this video seeing as I'm using the Your World of Colour kit and stickers. Her first question is what's your favourite sticker you've purchased? Um, 
not just because I'm answering these questions for Cardi, but my favourite stickers are the unicorns she sells in her shop. But it did mean that it's now made me buy more character stickers. I didn't have any character stickers until I purchased her unicorns. So I blame Cardi for character sticker purchases. Question two. What do you like most about the planner community? I love how easy people are to talk to. Um, you can talk, obviously talk to people with the same interests as you. And I have made loads of new friends through the planner community. So, question three. What colour combo do you deter away from in your planner? It's not so much colour combos because I do like to make sure I have mixed colours in my spreads. But I do deter away from having just one colour. I'm sorry for the headshots here. I'm still trying to get used to the camera positioning and how far to lean in. Uh, question four. If you could buy from any any shop that you currently can't buy from, which would it be? It would probably be Scribble Prints Co. Because I love the stickers. But obviously with it being in an American shop the shipping's too dear i think for purchasing stickers i try to make sure that postage is no dearer than five pound um question five what's your dream planner again because of pricing and because shipping prices have gone up i would love an erin condren planner but the actual planner itself is out of my price range as well but as you can see, I'm using the Recollections and I'm loving it. Um, I probably won't be able to get hold of the Recollections for next year. So I do think I'll be buying the Jane Walker Planner from AJ6 Designs. What's your favourite washi tape you've ever owned? I don't think I have a favourite washi tape. But um, I do still have my very first washi tape. Well, one of my very first washi tapes it will be the washi tape you will see me use here shortly what sticker or stickers you absolutely have to have in your every day spread um it's three stickers um my full box decos character stickers and some sort of box to write in like the half and quarter boxes so that is it for now any more questions i do have after doing this voiceover will be in next week's plan with me um, and i will see you when i do my functionals stickers for everything I have that's going on this week and um, here I'm looking for my script words and then I realize 
I've put them in with my character sticker. So I'm just going to take those out. Like I said before, I don't have too many plans this week. Um, so I've just took out my Hello Monday and my Friday stickers. So I use a Hello Monday sticker to start with. Just sorting through the stickers so I've got just the sheets with the boxes on that I can use. And then also realise I need my other script words for my cleaning zones. So I'm just going to quickly take those out of my character storage as well. I wouldn't call it my character storage but it's my most used stickers. So I'm going to take a living room sticker and a unicorn sticker with a broom because it's the only cleaning sort of character sticker I have. And I'm going to use that to mark that I want to give the kitchen, not the, ki not the kitchen, the living room, a good cleaning. I'm then going to take a half box and stick it at the bottom and on top of that I'm going to place a social square which is no longer available in the shop but it's a Facebook one to mark that I want to share in the Your World of Colour Facebook shop group on Monday. I then take an, I think these ones are appointment labels, off the planner face glitter sheet. I'm going to use this alongside um, the two unicorns holding a birthday cake sticker to mark that it's four days until Leah's birthday. I just mark the countdown for Leah's birthday because I know that Kara's birthday is the day after. There's not much point marking both. Here I've taken a laptop sticker to mark that my that this plan with me video is going to be up. This is where I mark it's four days until Leah's birthday. Here I can't decide where to place the sticker, but I think they look alright just above the box. Moving on to Tuesday, I take another half box and on top of that I place an iced drink. I usually use a coffee sticker because the weather has been nice I thought I would use an iced drink to mark that I'm meeting mum. I'm then going to take a unicorn with a notepad and pen to mark that my eldest has after school revision that day because she does start her sats in the middle of May. I'm then going to take a unicorn 
with shopping bags to mark that I need to go get the rest of Leah's birthday presents. to place a Hollyoaks sticker to mark that I want to catch up on my Hollyoaks. I don't watch it every night so this is why I mark it because I'll just watch it every other night or so. And then I take another one of the glitter, I take a glitter quarter box from the planner face sheet to mark the countdown for Leah's birthday for three days and place another one of those unicorn stickers above it. Moving on to Wednesday, I take another half box and then I will take an Instagram icon to mark that I want to do your world of colour promoting on Instagram. to take a camera sticker to mark that I want to film a Poundland haul. If there are any of these stickers that you would like to purchase, um, there is a discount code in the description box that you can use for 15% off a minimum of an £8 order. I'm then going to take another one of these quarter boxes for the countdown again and I also take a bathroom script sticker to mark that I want to give the bathroom a good deep clean. I'm just filling in my sidebar a bit so moving on to the second half of the week I'm going to take another camera sticker and then a planner sticker that has plan with me next to it to mark that I want to film next week's plan with me. I'm then going to take out a Hollyoaks sticker again. I was looking for a certain sticker which I'm silly enough I don't know why I haven't ordered them yet but I wanted the unicorn holding a violin sticker to go on top of this half box I'm going to place to mark that Leah has nucleo till half five 
um, I will order these unicorns for next time so if you would like to see another just your world of colour spread then um, please give this video a thumbs up then I will know that you would love to see a new one this is where I place my Hollyoaks sticker I'm then going to take out the unicorn holding the shopping bags again because I've got to go and collect Leah's birthday presents off my mum um, my mum works Thursdays and she has a voucher that she wanted to use because of the date on it it doesn't start till Thursday so with being at work she's asked me if I can go collect it for her I'm going to place another quarter box and the unicorns again to mark that it's one day until Leah's birthday moving on to Friday I'm going to use a happy birthday banner it is two unicorns holding a small birthday banner that says happy birthday I'm then going to write Leah 11 today underneath it and underneath that I'm going to place one of the bow dividers from the kit taken a half box to mark that I want to do the voice over for my plan with me I'm then taking another Instagram icon to mark that I want to do Instagram promotion for the punk planner And then I will take a unicorn with a barbecue sticker. We're not having a barbecue, but it's the only cooking type sticker I have. And I'm going to use it to mark that I need to cook the party food for after Leah finishes school on Friday. Moving on to Saturday, I'm going to take another one of those happy birthday banner stickers and mark that it is Kira's 10th birthday and I will also place another one of those bow dividers underneath that. I will then take some balloon stickers and put one either side and write party in the middle we're not having a huge party just a little family one my mum and my stepdad will be coming and I think my auntie and uncle are coming as well and then moving on to Sunday I will take a half box and a unicorn sitting at a computer to mark that I need to edit next week's plan with me and I will also take a unicorn with a washing machine to mark that I need to wash the girls uniforms I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I think it's very different to use stickers from just one shop um, this is kind of something that I needed to do because when you are PR you do have terms that you have to 
go by like you need to be promoting the shop and some shops do want you to share their stickers a few times a week and maybe do a spread 